Well, this was a promise many of Ford's supporters wanted kept, canceling the revamped sex education curriculum brought in by the former Liberal government. Doug Ford did deliver on that promise as one of his first acts in government. CTV's Megan Shaw now with some of the reaction tonight. Megan? Well, Graham, students will still learn about sex and sexual health, but things like proper body part names and gender identity, those are gone. As promised, Doug Ford has scrapped the new curriculum that many oppose going back to the old curriculum, but that was created in the 90s before same-sex marriage was legal and social media was even a thing. Yeah. As Vinayani Morty's kids grow, she wants them armed with information. That includes sexual education. I feel the best way they can be protected is if they know how to take care of their bodies. But she'll have to teach some material at home because the updated and controversial sex ed curriculum put in place by the Liberals in 2015 has been revoked by Premier Doug Ford, returned to the old curriculum from 1998. It means grade twos will no longer learn about the body during development. Grade fours won't discuss online bullying or puberty, and grade sevens won't cover sexting, preventing pregnancy, or sexually transmitted infections. I strongly disagree. I'm furious about it. I'm going to make sure my children are taught about a modern realities of puberty and sexual health. Other parents applaud the move. Some felt uneasy about the curriculum, worried it targeted kids too soon. I think that's a little bit too advanced for them. Their minds are still very young. When the previous government announced the new curriculum, rallies were held across the province against the update. And I don't need anyone to take away my innocence at six years of age. Some parents threatening to remove their children from school. Angered, students were learning about oral sex, masturbation and same-sex marriage. Some of the lessons are just too explicit, too graphic, and children don't need that kind of explicit sexual content at the ages that the Liberals were, were giving it. This teacher says these topics come up at school and not acknowledging them is a disservice to youth. The students do understand they're ready to learn that this is a reality. 20 years ago was much, much different than it is now. While LGBTQ community leaders fear not discussing all sexualities sends the wrong message. To like not even begin those conversations I think is what kind of creates like mental health issues later on because it isolates them. Now the Ford government says the change isn't permanent, that this is a pause so they can go back and do proper consultations about getting the sex ed curriculum, quote unquote, right this time. Graham. All right, CTV's Megan Shaw reporting live for us tonight. Thanks. Our CTV quick poll, we want to know, do you agree with the Ontario government's decision to return to the old sex education curriculum, even for a short time? Cast your vote on our website at ottawa.ctvnews.ca.